Fired Up Picker here, and uh, what you're looking at here are some storage containers. Just showing you that when in your prepping, you can use uh, different containers and things. I was thinking this week that uh, this is a day bag that I carry. It's in my vehicle. It's with me all the time, even when I'm on the road, uh, whenever, that right there. There's uh, The way I look at it is I see a lot of guys, you know, they go out on their regional trip not regional but you know they might do day trips like i do to austin houston arkansas mississippi kansas oklahoma wherever and you know all they've got on them is their wallet so let's say shtf happens they break down the cars go out can't get no more fuel how are you gonna get home the most important thing is get home my wife tells me every day come home safe to me and i tell her that's always the plan so she knows i'm prepared she knows now it might take me a while if something happens if i'm 150 200 300 400 miles away it might take me a few days a week or more to get home but i'm going to get home because i have that bag with me and other things so i was thinking this week i knew i had some things in these containers that i didn't have in my day bag that i wanted to get there so uh i just went through my day bag i try and go through it once or twice a month at least just to be familiar with it, to add things, take things away, do that kind of thing. I'm not going to go through that bag today. That's not what this video is about. But I was just showing you the storage, uh, what I have here. And I have a place in my home that I'm going to add a quick video to this. And uh, I'm actually going to show you that area. So anyway, this particular one, now these containers here, Pork rinds is what was in there. Uh, I love them. The dogs love them. The kids love them. Uh, we get these from Sam's, and I just clean them out, and they make great containers for storage, okay? So what I have in here, you can see this is kind of like medical slash, uh, I don't know. I mean, there's there's uh, uh, antibacterial, uh, you know, hand cleaner there. Tissues, Q-tips, cotton balls, there's ointments, there's uh, chapsticks, there's band-aids, just a little bit of everything. There's uh, gloves in there, gauze, you get the picture. This is kind of a medical slash whatever. These are lens wipes, these are goodies, headache powders, that's a little medical kit. And I know that this is one of the things that I wanted to put in my bag. So I'm going to take one of those out and put it over there. I think I'm good on everything else as far as what's in that bag. So then this is kind of just a little snack one. There's some tuna packets up there. Uh, there's some Vienna sausages, some other things that I probably would never eat, but you can use them for bait or whatever, uh, whether for traps or snares or fishing, uh, whatever. Uh, you know, it's always good also. You see these right here. They're a little lifesaver like breath mint type things, uh, crackers, uh, there's some Altoids, there's packages of nuts. And where I keep this is in a place that if we had to hide out a little bit or if we had to take shelter, that's where these containers are kept. And I'm going to show you that area. Uh, but anyway, so it's always good, they say, to have something that's like a comfort type thing or something that makes you feel good. You put it in your mouth and you're like, ah, right? So that's why it's good to have. Now, I found that these right here probably aren't the best things to have in the little peppermints. I've had those melt away before, but this one's, this is kind of kept in a cool type place, uh, kind of. So those should be okay. I don't know. But the rest of the candies and the Altoids, those are always good, uh, you know, to have. This right here is kind of a fire. And this is, these are candles. These are candles. We got some ro little twine rope in there, cordage. I've got a few uh, ponchos in there, plastic ponchos. There's a uh, mask right there, a couple garbage bags. You can see there's some analgesic ice cold rub or whatever. That probably belongs in the other one, but there wasn't room. There's some box matches. And this right here is a good tip. You see these batteries? This is a thing, it fits down inside the, uh, right there, that's a little flashlight that's in there. Always, when you're storing flashlights and radios and things like that, don't keep the batteries in the item. Because, number one, 
If they come on, they'll go dead, or if they go bad, they'll corrode and ruin the item. So always separate your batteries from your, from your item. This right here, this is kind of just a miscellaneous uh, one. There's some tin foil, some cordage, some little containers, uh, some buckles, plastic buckles, and just a little, yeah, just kind of a silly one. But you, you get the point. You can use all these. I have a couple of them ready to go. Uh, for being stored up and a lot of times I'll go through here and I'll you know pick stuff out that I need and Let me take you over to this This area. I'm gonna kind of block it here a little bit. I don't want everybody knowing where it is I'm just gonna open it up So when you see where I am here here you see some stored water I like getting these when I go get my my cases of water I'll try and buy one or two of these and I just started and I hey, look this is not a big area and this is this is really just a very basic get me through the first three days to a week type thing. See, I've got some blankets here. I've got some extra backpacks. I've got a Bible there. And in here you see more water. But these things here, I think they're like five gallon jugs of water or however much they are. And they're really, really like three or four dollars. Uh, so I like getting those. Here you see some food. I've got some ramen noodles, some beans. There's some rice. There's some Spam back there. There's corn, beans, uh, whatever else. There's some uh, potatoes and hash browns. There's some drink mix right there, some cocoa. So, you know, it's always good to have a nice drink instead of just water all the time, right? Here you see a couple more of those containers. In this one, there's alcohol and uh, hydrogen peroxide. There's one with some small bottles of water. You see my little homemade... Uh, toilet there with an old lid. There's a five gallon bucket under there. There's some toilet paper. And here is some paper towels, some more toilet paper. These right here you see. Hi Mia. That's Mia. She's our new puppy that we just adopted a week ago or so. So these are uh, plastic ammo containers that come from Cabela's when you buy, you know, the bulk kind. Number one, here's a medical one that I put together, right? A little bit of everything there's medicines in there there's flashlights there's there's more uh hydrogen peroxide there's toothbrushes a little bit of everything and just a hint if you want to save money and you're getting going hit the dollar stores up and those type of things you know for 30 or 40 50 dollars you can get a lot of stuff to store this one here uh you know some large construction style bags uh, there's some holsters. This is a book that I got from uh, what? Uh, the, the Harbor Freight. It's a pocket reference. Anything you want to know about anything is in there. Some magazines, which you know, that's probably people would say, well, that's a that's not a very good one, but whatever. This one actually has ammo. This is ammo case. Okay, so there's ammo. We got ammo in other areas too. So just letting you know, just get started. Use whatever you can. Go go from your house. Take a couple, you know, if you keep cases of water in your house and you haven't stored any water, you know, take six pack out of there and go store it away. Get you, you know, your toilet paper, stuff like that. Get some basics out there because, believe me, you don't know how, uh, you know, how, how you're going to miss something until you don't have it. And, and SHTF happens or whatever happens, whether it's a natural disaster, whether it's something major, uh, you just don't know what you're going to miss. Uh, and actually there's a cooler down there too. I don't know if you can see that where the rice is on top of it, and that's full of stuff. There's some containers back there. I guess you can see we're under the stairwell here. So <laughs> kind of hard to hide that. But anyway, there's an empty container there. Uh, a gallon milk jug, you know, can be used for whatever, you know, all in water, urination, whatever. Uh, so just... And I got a little bit of a padding in here. It's like an exercise padding in case we had to, you know, just so we're not on concrete floor 24-7. So you see. But, you know, you don't know how you're going to miss something until you don't have it, you know. And, and just think about something as simple as toilet tissue. We'll go back out here now. Something as simple as toilet tissue. How you're going to miss that, but... Just start out, just get going, get you some containers and start putting some things in there and 
don't forget about your feminine hygiene and your regular hygiene and and stuff like that so just start getting stuff put away and put it in a place where you know it is and maybe everybody else doesn't but uh it really doesn't matter so anyway hope that helps just get started and use what you can use i have plastic coffee cans i have other plastic containers that i've made like small uh survival kits in to put into the vehicles in the trunk and and things like that you can use altoid cans if you want to put it in your glove compartment or your briefcase whatever so if you if you need just something you never know what you're going to need and and when you're going to need to use it but uh just get started and it'll make you feel better when you at least have because when you, once you get started and you get start building up week after week after week uh it makes you feel good you feel more secure you feel more ready and guess what you're probably going to be ahead of 95 or plus percent of the people that are doing absolutely nothing be a part of the solution not a part of the problem don't be a liability be an asset and uh you know don't think that you're gonna miss all the bad stuff going on don't think that your government's gonna take care of you that your city's gonna take care of you take take excuse me take care of yourself take care of your your family all right till next time fire it up happy prepping